Today I'm taking on this cluttered mess and turning it into a functional and stylish closet with just a $300 ready-made closet organizer. And the best part, you can customize it to any size. Hi, I'm Hannah. I'm a mom of three kids who taught herself how to DIY. And I'm here to show you how to make your house beautiful and function great for your family. Today we're gonna be installing a closet system into this builder grade closet. So this is my husband's closet and he's often complained that he doesn't have enough space for his hanging stuff. So I'm gonna add a whole lot more storage into this closet. And I'm using a really easy closet system. It's just something out of the box that anyone can buy and install. I'm gonna be using the Closet Made Sweet Symphony system. It's just a really easy system to install so you could be a total beginner DIY and still be able to install it in this closet and it's actually really affordable. To be honest with you, I don't think my husband's closet system is that bad, but I have an Ikea pack system for my stuff, so I think he just feels like it's a little bit unfair. Um, what happened was a few years ago, we had a surprise baby and we live in a townhouse and we just didn't have a bedroom for her. So we had to convert my master closet into like her room. So this is an unedited view of her room, but basically like this was our master closet and we had plenty of space for the both of us, but then I converted it into her little nursery. And so this is why I've got this Pax wardrobe for myself over here, which absolutely I love. And my husband's got the dinky closet. I would have loved to install a Pax wardrobe for my husband. It's such a great closet system, but it's just not in the budget right now. A Pax wardrobe is about $1,300, but the system I picked up is about $400. So it's really affordable. And if you're interested in the Pax wardrobe system, I've got a full review on what I think of it after having it for a year and a half. Let's start off by emptying out his closet. Um, I don't know if I'll get this done in one day, so I'm gonna end up throwing all these clothes in like a corner in the master. Let's see. This often Avast has to sleep on this bed with the kids because one of them will wake up and luckily for me, they like daddy at night. <laughs> I'm also gonna make a vast like go through his entire closet and like look at what he likes, look at what he needs, what has he had since before we got married, because it's probably time for some of those things to go. So one of the things is he needs that like long hanger area as well because we have a lot of ethnic clothes that are quite long. So I'm pretty much shocked at how much cleaning day one has just turned out to be like this is just insane luck so I was thinking of leaving this in as a shelf um, the organizer that I bought is 84 inches so if this is like higher than 84 inches I could just leave it in okay it's not it's 77 which means I unfortunately have to take it down, which just kind of stinks because I wanted to leave it. But So we got to remove this shelf and um, first we have to actually take all these off. And in my experience, the best way to do it is just with a pry bar. So just go behind it and just pry it off gently. I'm so excited to get rid of this wire shelving system and install a really great custom system that will work better for my husband. He really wants more hanging space. Now this is really easy to install. There's step-by-step -step instructions and if you've built anything from Ikea, you can definitely build this too. So the other thing when you put these in is you see there's this arrow. The arrowhead means that it goes towards like the outside because there's a hole that connects there. So if you see, can you see this? There's a hole in there. So the arrow always goes like facing upwards. I always try and lay things out exactly as it shows in the book. Otherwise, you just have like a really hard time making sure you're going in right. So like pay attention to the things like, you know, the unfinished edges, where there's bigger holes, where there's bigger gaps, those types of things. We're gonna assemble the units now. So basically there'll be like a bottom half unit and then a top half unit. And they're just joined together by like one of these shelves that we put these pivots into or divots. You just want to make sure that all the edges, like the front nice edges, are going to line up to each other. Okay, so the bottom unit is complete. Okay. 
Before we can actually mount this, you see how this is a bit wobbly? We need to stabilize this. So they come with these little squares, or they're actually, sorry, they come with triangles. So what we'll do is we'll turn it around and you just nail these here, but you need to make sure it's square. So how do you make sure it's square? Use a speed square. So I'm gonna hold this in place, right, on one side, and then I can like nail on this side so that I know this whole fixture will be square. So before we mount these, because now these are ready to be mounted, I have to fill all these holes. So my husband did manage to get them out yesterday, but there's just so many holes to be filled. So I'm using wall spackle. I like this fast and final. Um, and before you spackle anything, always hammer it down a little bit so you get a smooth finish. Otherwise, you'll get a little bump from that old screw mark. I'm ready to install this into the wall, but I need to anchor it for safety. We don't want this falling down on anyone. So initially my stud finder told me there was studs here. They're gonna work then, so this is actually twice. Okay, so we're gonna make a hole and we're gonna use the anchor that came with it. I usually don't use these, but we'll just use it for this. You want to try and get into a stud, but in this case, I just don't know what was going on with the studs in this wall. So we'll use this wall anchor and attach the bracket first. And I love that the closet system actually comes with like the anchors and the nails and everything, so I don't need to go out and buy anything additional. Once I've got it anchored to the wall, I also need to secure the anchors into the actual little cabinet. Okay, before you put the second unit on top, you have to put these in. These dowels, they actually act as like, um, I guess a connector, because once you put the second one in, it'll all stay stable. This is that moment that I realized that I wasn't as strong as I thought I was, but I got this on top and then I anchored the top unit as well. Okay, amazing, we've got the organizer in. Now we need to add the rods. So I'm gonna have uh, one rod on this side hung high, and then one here and one here. So we're gonna have three rods total. The whole kit comes with the brackets, which is really useful and actually easy. The only thing is you need to have a minimum of 27 inches on both sides, otherwise you're gonna need to cut your rods. This is a great system. This is the bracket we need for our rod. So the rod just sits in here and you just make two holes. Um, one gets attached to the actual system and then one gets attached into the wall. Once you've got the bracket installed, you need to ensure that the rod is gonna be straight. So I marked it and made sure it was straight with a level and then I installed the second rod bracket. I brought one of Avas's shirts because I wanted to see what would be a good height to hang the second rod. So if I hang it here, I want to make sure that, you know, I, I actually might end up putting a shelf here too. But like, I think the rod, the rod goes here. So yes, that's good. And then also it's like, okay, if I take this, that's it. It's not on the floor, right? So I'm going to go here. So I'm going to place this here. And so you see how this opens up? I like to place you know what this bump sometimes when you slide a hanger it's kind of hard to like get it over that bump so i'm putting that towards like the inside because that's where less of the hangers will go we just have to install three drawers here so these drawers actually come with the closet system so there's no need to build drawers or anything like that it's actually funny when i was designing this for my husband and yes i designed it <laughs> because i'm building it right um he was like can i have some drawers and i was like do you really need them he was like yeah yeah i do because the drawers like you know they're they cost a bit like so i the more i thought of it i was like well it's not really fair for me <laughs> to say that when i have like this ikea pack wardrobe which has so many drawers so yeah we're just gonna install these drawers it should be a really easy um task and then we'll just finish it off and show it to you All three drawers are assembled and I'm at the point where I'm going to install them. So this manual actually tells you exactly what holes you need to put the brackets in, like the drawer slides, so that they can fit correctly. One thing I'm finding is as I put the drawers in, it's hard to get it to slide onto both tracks. So what you want to do is you want to like line it up and then you actually want to like 
fold the hinges so it's a bit tricky and if you have a second person it would be helpful but you want to like hold them and then now squeeze it in on both sides as you push the drawer in and you'll hear the, them lock in there so you heard that little click and it's good So the last thing is just to put the shelves up. They come with these clear little brackets. Are you ready to see the reveal of my husband's new closet? Now remember, we started off with just a basic builder closet and I transformed it into something really modern and clean with a lot more hanging space. This closet made solution is fantastic because it's got three drawers which you can add on and they're a really good size for a small closet. Plus, you can adjust the rods to make them fit the height of your clothes. So if you have a lot of dresses or long shirts, you can always adjust them as well. And I'm just editing my husband's closet a bit as I'm adding his clothes back in. We put his sweaters, jeans, and some of his smaller items on the shelves. And then inside the drawers, he put like his socks, underwears, and some of his t-shirts. This would also be a fantastic organizer in a kid's room or a nursery. And I could see this being really functional as a coat closet too. I totally love how this closet came together. It is such a great inexpensive closet system. It was easy to put together. I didn't have any issues at all. And actually it looks like I have so much more space for my husband's stuff. And I didn't even edit that much stuff out. I only donated like five shirts of his. So if you love this DIY, make sure you subscribe to my channel and tell me, would you use this closet system? Isn't it so much better than the one you probably have? And I'll see you next time for my next budget DIY.